All right, Noah, thanks. Our team coverage continues tonight with NBC 5's Carolyn Sistran. She was on campus watching the game with fans and alums. The feeling after the game from Catamount alumni and fans is so much pride, saying that they could get used to these watch parties becoming a yearly tradition. So proud. The whole state is so proud of them. Catamount fans of all ages spending their Friday cheering on the men playing in the NCAA tournament. I, I wasn't expecting them to be as, as good as they are. UVM grads gathering at the alumni house near campus, becoming something of a St. Patrick's Day tradition. Just 365 days ago, the Catamounts also in the big dance on March 17th. But the luck of the Irish falling short another year, losing to Marquette in the first round. To be able to come together as alumni and cheer on the Catamounts, it's just such fun. Fans also taking over local spots. The Catamounts! Many packing into the Windjammer in South Burlington. Wherever you look, there's a TV, like no matter which angle. Ian Renecki in town visiting his cousins and supporting his alma mater. Basketball is our is our is our sport. It might have been hockey for years, maybe it even still is hockey, but like basketball kind of came came and came up and we got great players from around the country and they kind of still show that UVM pride even after they leave the school. Back inside the alumni watch party. Have both teams in is just such a big deal. It's great to have men and women this year. In less than 24 hours, they'll be back sitting in the same spots, cheering on more Catamount basketball. The alums will be back at the alumni house on Saturday to watch the Catamount women take on UConn down in Connecticut for their first game in the NCAA tournament. In Burlington, Carolyn Sistran, NBC5 News.